thing that was going on. Uh, there was like eight guys around me all grabbing me, like some like hitting me in the leg. Uh, I, I'm like holding on to his hat. I was holding, I'm not letting go. And <laughs> that was the main thing that they were like concerned about. They're like, give us the fucking hat, give us the hat. And I was like, no, no. And then finally they got the hat. And then, yeah, I just see this, this uh, angry Floyd Mayweather. Like I, could, I couldn't believe it. And he, one of his security guards like had my shirt like wrapped around his hand. And so I couldn't get away. And he, he just comes running at me and he's throwing punches like over the security guard. And I'm literally just like, oh, wow, this is this is crazy. But the, the funny thing about it was like. None of the punches were even coming close to me um, at that point, and he actually like punched his own security guard in the side of the head. Uh, but yeah, like absurd moment uh hilarious i didn't think he was gonna get that mad over, over a hat um and <laughs> what you said to him because you said a funny line where you grabbed it it was like got your hat you said something to him i said got your hat you see that made <laughs> it like, for me yeah, yeah that's what made it for me though is when you said got your hat and you were gone and then i want to say like you even changed your twitter to got your hat the whole thing was brilliant that's all i'm saying i was watching that whole thing going this is a genius at work I'm watching a genius a, at work here. There I got it is. a tattoo. I got a <laughs> tattoo of it in, in the airport before before flying back home. But look, I mean, <laughs> hey, it's show business. Sure. You know, and and uh That's right. I, I didn't think it was gonna go that viral. I thought it was gonna be like, uh, like this is funny. Jake Paul is like a immature a little kid. Uh which, which by the way, like that's what I was going for. I was like, hey, this is going to be hilarious. Like, I'm going to be like a little kid stealing someone's hat on the playground. So, okay. So, Logan's going to fight Floyd. What are your marching orders for the next couple months? Do you go in and your training partner, your support for your brother, or will you book a fight if something comes up? Like, what are you looking to do? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm here at Logan's training camp, uh, just supporting him. Uh, you know, I have a lot of business stuff going on. So, I'm kind of just like cheerleading and, giving him you know the tips and advice that that i see uh while I'm, while i'm watching him spar and uh yeah just just here to support man and you know this is this is a massive fight massive opportunity and so it's good to be surrounded by family throughout these you know massive moments and uh when there's a lot of pressure a lot of eyeballs and people watching you know you need your support system but yeah th there's a lot of people who want to fight me um and I've been called out by like a half of the MMA community. A lot of celebrities, like just the other day, uh, six, nine said that he wanted to fight me. So me and my team are just like figuring out what, what makes the most sense. And, um, I, I fought three times in the past, uh, like 15 to 16 months. So I've been pretty active and it, it's, uh, taken like a, toll on me just like i'm just felt tired after the fight like even the night after i was like this is such a relief i won and